All right, we're going to go through what we need to make our crepes today, and they are one tablespoon of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, tablespoon of butter, three eggs, one and a half cups of milk, one cup of flour, and for our metric folks, it's about 350 milliliters of milk and about 250 milliliters of flour. And we have a whisker to um, mix up our ingredients, a spoon to ladle out our batter, a spatula uh, in case we need to work on our uh, non-stick pan, which is right over here. And uh, the brand we use is Cathalon, it works pretty well, we have two of them. Um, and of course our mixing bowl, and that's it. The first thing I want to do is um, mix up my butter and get it softened and heated up. And I like to do that in a microwave, maybe for about 20 seconds, something like that. I don't want it to be totally liquid, but uh, I'll go for 20. All right, I need to add another 20 seconds and it looks like this. So I still see chunkies in there. Um, I don't want to pulverize the butter. So then I just get to this stage and uh, you can hit it with a whisk a little bit to try to get the rest of it to melt down. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It, it uh, doesn't matter. Just don't overcook the butter. All right, now we're going to put our eggs in and do this pretty quickly. Okay, and we can whisk them up. Yes, a little color. That's it for the eggs. All right, now we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients in. We've got the flour goes in. Now the sugar. Next is the salt. Of course, the order doesn't matter. Next, the milk. What matters is you don't start mixing it all up until everything's in. And that's that. Now we can start mixing. Let's go, Spence. Just mix it all up. Now, so you mix it to a point where uh, it's not chunky and scrape down the sides, mix it up. It does not have to be perfect. If you pour it into the uh, to the pans and there are a couple of little chunks in there, they actually do settle down and disappear. So don't go crazy with this. Don't use any kind of a stand mixer or anything. You can just whisk it up by hand. Make it fast. Okay, now we are putting our batter in. There's one tube for this one. I do two pans at a time. There are two. And then you just take them and swirl it around. So get a nice even coat, preferably in a circle shape. And you can see there's some chunkies in there. Those settle down. This is it. Temperature is set to medium flame. You do have to keep an eye on the temperature. And now we're watching for some browning around the edges. Um, that's how we'll know that this is done. I like to make crepes a lot better than uh, pancakes. They have more protein in them. You can fill them up with bananas and peanut butter. You can fill them up with yogurt, granola, and fruit. You can make it a much healthier meal than uh, a pancake meal. And uh, I think they taste better too. So that's it. We'll have a flip coming up soon. All right, now you can see that there's some browning around the edges, and this is moving freely. So here's the, the flip technique, is you just go like this over the edge, and that's it. Yeah, practice. All right, these are some examples of our prepared crepes, and we've got uh, peanut butter and bananas, one option. Another is some fruit and yogurt and granola. Another option, which is the kids' favorite, is sugar and cinnamon. And Spencer will demonstrate the uh, kids roll up. So you eat crepes rolled up. Sometimes you can do it this way. This is how Spencer likes to do it. <laughs> and sometimes you can do it just like uh, you'd roll up a burrito. And um, that's it. <laughs>